technique that can help you make tons of different projects. This is called a packing tape transfer. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when you do it of each of these things. So this is a newspaper clipping. This is a old National Geographic page I've cut out. And this is a cutout from a magazine. Real simple. So I'm going to put tape over these and I will show you the results. Lay out your images as you want them to be and then you get some packing tape. About the size. I'm just going to do one strip along these. You want to press it so there aren't any air bubbles. The better you press it now, the better the ink is going to stay on there. We want the ink to stay in the tape and the paper to leave. So once you press the tape on and it looks pretty good, we are going to flip it over and we're going to use some water to wash away the paper on this side. I wouldn't recommend sticking this in the sink. You will definitely clog up your sink. So I just get a bowl of water, dip my hand in, and then I just slowly start getting the paper wet. So first I'll show you what happens with the newspaper clipping. So this one's working pretty well. Okay, now let's try the National Geographic clipping. So we're gonna remove this first layer of paper. Remember there was a husky underneath. Ah, oh, there it is. And see, even though I'm rubbing this, the husky is still staying on there. Okay, and now... Okay, so, so far so good. Here are the results. As you can see, the magazine actually worked pretty good and so did the National Geographic. Newspaper is just gonna be a little grainy because of how it's printed. You can do so many things with these tape transfers. You can have kids make a collage, do a tape transfer over the collage and then put it in a window. Also, if they draw on a paper and pencil, it will stay in the tape as well. You could do a laser jet print out of the kids' faces and then make a tape transfer of it and put it over a collage. You can put it over a watercolor painting like these two really simple. So there's so many things you can do. Have fun with this project and hopefully we will see you soon on YouTube.